Tonight, a Cedar Springs couple is in jail awaiting charges in the death of their own baby. Investigators say 10-month-old Mary Welch died yesterday of malnutrition and dehydration. The baby's father announced the death on Facebook. 24-Hour News 8th Ken Colker is here with what we're learning about the parents. Ken? Marley, the Sheriff's Department says it locked up the parents today after an autopsy ruled that young Mary Welch's death was a homicide. Seth Welch announced the death of his daughter yesterday on Facebook. Heart is about shattered right now, he wrote. Woke up to Mary dead in her bed this morning. This evening, had our children removed and placed on no contact because Tati and I are the worst parents ever. He and his wife, Tatiana Fusari, are expected to face charges on Monday. State police records show the Kent County Sheriff's Department already has requested warrants against the husband and wife for felony homicide. Deputies say they found the baby unresponsive at the family's home on Algoma Avenue Southeast near 20 Mile Road in Solon Township. It's where the Welches raised three young children and ran Black Acre Farm Products, selling produce and honey. It's also where Seth Welch displayed his faith on hand-painted signs and on the fence out front. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. He often read from the Bible and preached against worldly things in rambling Facebook videos. In one, he says he got CPS called on him when he refused to get his first daughter vaccinated. It didn't seem smart to me that you would be saving people who weren't the fittest. If evolution believes in survival of the fittest, well then why are we vaccinating everybody? Shouldn't we just let the weak die off and let the strong survive? He says his youngest two, including Mary, were never vaccinated. Mary and John both haven't had their vaccines. They, I don't think John's been sick a day in his life. He's A neighbor today said he was shocked by the death and the allegation. I mean, I've seen people where they don't take care of their kids real well, but I thought they did uh, pretty good with them. He says he saw the baby just three weeks ago. It was small, but it looked good. CPS says it has not been involved with the family for at least two years, while the Sheriff's Department says it had been to the home only once before on a call not related to the children. Seth Welch's parents tell us they are taking care of the couple's two surviving kids.